So, Dr. Newman, you're saying that everybody wears a mask? That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks. Well, the book is, of course, The Masks We Wear by Dr. Arthur Newman. Thank you so much for The Masks We Wear. That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks. <laughs> <laughs> Blending with Mask. For this week's assignment, you'll be looking at how do you blend two pictures seamlessly into each other. You'll use all the techniques you've gone over so far from select your subject to putting shadows on it as well. Okay, so let me minimize that and punch up Photoshop. So remember, go up to File, Clear Recent, Clear Recent File List. Go to New File, 15 by 15. Now remember too, don't always assume it's there. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to drop this down to inches. Then from there, I'm going to go 15 by 15, 72 resolution. So that's good. RGB color always, 8-bit always, white. Don't color manage. Okay, make sure all of this is correct. Some of the computers, for some reason or another, the color profile has been changing. Uh, RGB sometimes changes as well. When that happens, that's when you want to make sure you're putting the right uh, setup first into your canvas. Okay, so I'm going to go create. Now keep in mind, you want to make sure that when you're creating, just clearing out other stuff for later. When you're creating, you want to work from the bottom of it up. Also remember too, so you can go to Windows, Workspace. Essentials should be there, but then Reset Essentials. Then what I'm going to do is go Windows, and I'm going to turn off Color, and I'm going to turn off Properties. Everything else looks good. Now for some reason, your tools do not look right. Click here. Okay. So if you click there, you could reset your toolbar. There we go. Edit toolbar, restore to defaults. Restore to defaults and press done. That way you have your lasso tools and your, magnetic la your magic wand. Your magnetic lasso is there. Everything is reset. And this is how I have it, where I have the polygonal lasso, which is the straight edge. And I also have that one. The other thing too is this is the first time we're going to play with paintbrush. Okay, we're not going to do what you think, which is paint. Keep that in mind, all right? But if you notice, I have two colors down here, black and purple. This little arrow switches between them. Okay, see how that works? This is much easier than having the color select over there, because trust me when I say you will get confused on what is the truest black and truest white. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open. I'm going to open up my apple. Okay, control A, control C. V. Control T, make it a little smaller. Okay. Remember, you want your subject in your canvas space. It already has a shadow. Looks good right about there. So I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to close my Apple because I don't want to get confused. Because remember, too, you need it to be 15 by 15. Okay. So then I'm going to go open. Let's go with an orange. Okay. Control A, Control C. Control V. Control T, make it a little smaller. All right, so now this is where the new stuff comes in. Okay, so before I apply it, change the opacity down. If you notice, I can now see through it to where the apple is. I want to make sure it's roughly the same size as the apple. Okay. Right about there. Okay, now I'm going to press enter, change my opacity up. Okay, now remember, traditionally we'd go select, subject, let's see if we get the subject. Excellent, right there. Now when I click the mask, this is the important part. Notice how I have a black and white picture here. Okay, notice my colors went black and white. 
because I'm on the mask. If I go to the fruit, my colors go to the colors. Go here, it's black and white. Black takes it away, white adds it. When I click on brush, spend me a few moments on this, okay? This is your brush selection and everything up here. Don't change the opacity or flow. Use that over here. But on here, I could drop down the brush. Hardness, if I go over here, that's going to be a very hard line. See how hard that line is? That's not good for blending. Control Z. So what I want to do is kind of give it a soft brush like that. See how soft that is? Okay. Size is just that. I can make it bigger. I can make it gargantuan. But I want to make it roughly about here, right about here, okay? And control Z, control Z, control Z. Notice it didn't change my brush sizes back. It changes your work page, okay? So what I want to do is I'm on my mask, so what I want to do is blend the orange. The way you do this blend is just by making it so then it kind of blurs in where you start questioning what is what, okay? See how I have this hard line here? I want to blend that as well. But if you notice, I just do some clicks here, start to blend it. That looks nice. And I'm going to probably change this back down a little. Okay. So right in here, I could start coloring in. Okay. So here's the important part. If you notice, oopsie, I went too high. Flip to white. Black takes it away, white restores it. So this is a million times better than any erase tool. Because now I could start building it back in there and really making it look like it's blended. I'd say the bigger the brush, the softer is how you want to blend it. So I could take this away again, and I could go like really freaking huge. But there we go. Just I want to give it a splatter so then you can't tell where the edge of the orange is, okay? And I know I just said don't play with opacity, but if you want to play with the opacity, this is what it looks like. So it kind of gives it that pattern there, but change it back to 100%. Okay, so that's my first forte into blending. Okay, how do you blend them? This is the easiest way to show you how to do the mask and brush. Because a lot of the times people will be like, oh, brush, and then it looks like an old paint program. This right here is good. Okay. The thing is, is the original subject matter already has the shadow. Didn't it have the shadow? You would need to add it. So let me show you real quick. Let me go select subject on the apple. Okay, and then I'm going to mask it. Apply layer mask. This is where I would then need to do the shadow effects from last week. So I'm going to apply there, control E. Two of them. Top one, of course, I'm going to go image adjustments. Hue saturations, change it to darkness. Okay, press OK, drop that below it. Edit, perspective warp. Okay. I really want to get tight with the shape because I really don't want to waste too much time on it. And I mean, you got to realize, I just deleted the shadow. I, I mean, if you don't have to delete the shadow, don't delete the shadow. That's an easy fix, okay? So now I'm going to warp it. So how am I going to warp it? By just crumbling it all down to the bottom. Wah, wah, wah. And I could just expand that out a little here, a little here, bring that in a little, bring that one in a little. Check it. Bring that down just a little. Boom, boom. And what I'm going to do is press opacity. This is the big one. You have to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And there we go. But remember, too, I could then put a, bit, a mask on it. Okay, put this back on it, got that. Change the opacity here. Because the density of the apple is solid. So I just want to get rid of those edges a little. Just a little bit there. 
little on the front. And if for some reason I made a mistake, I could work it back. Oops, work it back. Okay, that gives me that density shift, okay? Apply. Change that down. Right about there. And remember, it's all about placement. So you choose where you place it. Right about there looks nice. Then I'm going to close that. Okay. Layer, flatten image. File, save as. On your computer, do this. Go here. If it's on Photoshop, change it to PNG. Then you have to put your name. Ben Blend of Fruit. Okay. That's the first demo. Try to blend stuff that you want to blend, and then we'll show you color matching later in the week. Because color matching is one that I made the mistake last year. We jumped into color matching right after we did uh, the shadow effect and right after we did a uh, select subject kind of vibe. This is where I really think you need to play with the mask a little bit. So try to choose things that are not naturally colored. Okay. And then we'll blend them together and see how well you blend them without doing the color match. All right. That's all for this week. And remember, if there is a substitute teacher in the classroom, you need to be respectful of them. If I get back a bad sub report, I'm going to be pissed. When I'm pissed, things do not go well for you. Okay. So make sure if I have a substitute, you are treating them with the utmost respect. You are following along with the demo. And you're not being disruptive because honestly, I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, uh, I do not get bad sub reports. If I do, that's not good for anyone, okay? So be good. All right.